Today I'm challenging myself to use items that I have around the house and to create several different coffee table or ottoman style vignettes using the home decor that you see here. I'm Marie, welcome to my channel. I am so glad you're here. We're starting with this tray, this wooden tray that I got recently from Home Goods. If you saw that video, it was only $16 and we're gonna decorate with some pottery. Two of the pieces are new, the one on the top and the one on the left. The other picture is a picture that I have had uh, for a little while, I got it from a local boutique. You'll see that a couple times today. As a matter of fact, you'll see a couple of these pieces a couple times today. I have to keep in mind the color of my couch and the picture above my couch, just to make sure everything coordinates. Add in a little pillow and a little house in the front to kind of finish off the vignette and I think that that makes a very nice display. The next one I have is kind of a garden and candle style. I have these candle holders from Hobby Lobby and also these candles that are faux from QVC. So I just gathered up some greenery that I had around the house and I kind of tucked it here and there and I took three orbs that I have and I just kind of strategically placed them in a triangle. This one right here is from Pier 1. I've had that for several years and I just have that elevated on a little pedestal with a small lemongrass wreath around it. Tucking in those other pieces of greenery around it just gives it a nice garden style and I'm really liking this vignette also. You can also take the candles off and just have it styled this way. I think this looks just as nice. Next, I took the picture that I had and I added some faux florals that I had as well as some beads and some, these are not actually books. They're like, uh, you can tuck little things inside of there. Those came from Hobby Lobby also. The beads I made and I just styled all of this together, just putting that picture on top of those faux books, draping the beads around it. I think this makes a really pretty vignette also. The next one is really simple. I also purchased this wreath at the same time I purchased this tray because I thought they would go really well together. Just put that down and I put the picture that I also purchased with it at the same time together in a vignette, stuck the flags in there and you have an instant patriotic style vignette. I switched out one of the pottery pieces for this demijohn jar and then I also have this antique um, little decor piece here as well as that knob from Michaels that I purchased if you saw my Michaels video the other day and I just put all of this together to make uh, just swapping out pieces here and there and you have another completely different styled vignette. So recently I got this basket for two dollars at a local yard sale and I just wanted to show you just draping the blanket differently and setting the basket to the side. Put a couple books in there that you have and just stick the picture on top and you have an instant coffee table or ottoman style design here. I also switched it up a little bit. I draped the blanket over the ottoman again, added another book to it and some different beads, centered the books and placed a faux floral arrangement from Ikea on top. And that just gives you a little pop of greenery and the basket gives you a little warmth to this vignette. And I think that again, this is just another simple idea. You could also take the books and angle them and then just kind of keep them in place with the plant there. And that makes another lovely style. Another thing you can do with a basket is I have this urn that I thrifted. I just took the urn and some different greenery and a candle 
and I grabbed a couple smaller scaled books that are paperbacks and I just put my reading glasses on top and I think that makes a nice little vignette also. Then I decided I wanted to use my brass candlestick, so I gathered those up and I just came up with this little vignette here. I decided I needed a couple more substantial books, so I grabbed my large Bible and my dictionary that I thrifted and voila, you have this. Um, this is mostly a thrifted styled vignette here. Next, we're moving on to my uh, hammered metal tray that's black. So this is all basically greenery. We're gonna use our wreath again. I did wanna show you, they do have this at Walmart, and I will try to link that below for you. The greenery, of course, is from Home Goods. I got that the other day. And then this uh, little house here is actually a shelf. You can see, you can actually hang that on the wall. That's from Hobby Lobby, and I do believe they still have those. Again, tuck a couple of flags in it, and you have an instant patriotic style coffee table or Ottoman vignette. All right, I also have this boho style basket, so I'm taking the greener. You notice I am changing out my greener here and there so I have different styles and it's so easy to see that you can just mix and match things this one has more of a modern farmhouse look as does this one here my little house is from Target the smallest one is from Hobby Lobby and then I do believe those candlesticks holders are from Hearth and Hand from a couple of years ago So lastly, I have these two tall candlesticks. I wish I had three. I don't, but you can see I have improvised here. So you'll have to let me know what you think of this particular style here, but it uh, probably would have been better if I had all three. Maybe I'll look for the third one the next time I go. But I do like this. It gives it kind of a little more height to it. And as a bonus, I thought I would just show you some fireplace mantle styling. Uh, this is just a very basic design. I've taken the tray there and I've set it in the corner and I've just set some pieces with it. Candle, greenery. Over here I have another basket with some birches, bir birch pieces in it, excuse me. And then I put the large candlesticks on the mantle. This is a baguette bowl that I like to keep up here. And then at the other end of the baguette bowl, I just have that white pitcher that I purchased and I have a little vignette here. So I just thought I would add that as a bonus just to give you another idea of some of the pieces that I recently bought and just show you some more decor ideas. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this today. I've enjoyed showing it to you and making it. I, again, I was challenging myself to come up with lots of different ideas with the stuff that I had on hand and also my new pieces. And you can let me know which of these are your favorite, if you like them, or what you would do differently. I'm always up for hearing what my viewers uh, think they would do differently or they think might be better, because I know some of you all have better ideas than I do. So I wanna thank you for watching today. And I'd like to let you know, here's another video for you if you're interested. And also there will be videos linked below that I have referenced throughout this video. Thank you for watching today. I so appreciate that you take the time to watch my videos. Have a wonderful week.